You're watching Minister's Material with Prophet Emmanuel Makandiwa. Another position. Are we together? Now then, 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 Saul was anointed king. I don't want to waste time talking about that. But um, he was now the king of Israel, anointed by God through the prophet Samuel. And then every time Saul would be, would be given instructions as to how he should uh, approach certain matters. Because there was Samuel and there was Saul as the king and Samuel was the prophet and Saul was the king. And Saul would come to Samuel every time to inquire, how should I go about this matter? And that made Saul's life to become easy because there was somebody very close to him to give him an instruction. So it was like that. And Saul never, he never engaged in any battle without hearing a word from the prophet. And the only battle that he fought without inquiring in the absence of Samuel, that is where Saul lost his life. Just one battle. Just one battle. When Samuel was no longer there, that was the end of him. So, and then there was a time when Saul was given an instruction by God to go and attack the Amalekites. And God said to him, I want you to destroy everything that you see there. Everything. Including women, babies, livestock. Anything that you find breathing there, kill it. And then he went there and God gave him victory over the Amalekites. And then something happened. Again, you know this story. He kept some things to himself. And then later on, he started blaming the people. Uh, and then the men of God came to him and he said, because of what you did, you are no longer the king. The kingdom of God now, the kingdom of Israel now is taken away from you and it shall be given to your neighbor. It shall be given to your neighbor. Ah, you know, it's a terrible thing in life when God can take what you have and give it to the person next to you. And you see him doing what you saw yourself doing in your dreams. And you, you know, when you, when you look at him, the way he does it, you, this, this is exactly the way you saw it. Yourself. You saw yourself in visions and people were prophesying to you and telling you that this is what you're going to be doing. And you see your neighbor doing exactly the way you saw it. So, your dreams and your visions are taken away. Now they are being given to the person next to you. Just because of disobedience. Now, Saul tried everything. If you look at it in the book of uh, uh, First Samuel chapter number, chapter number 15, the whole chapter deals with that one. At the end, when Saul realized that he, uh, he has already lost it, that's when Saul cried in the presence of Samuel. He said, please, I'm begging you. This, I know, it might be the end of me, but I'm asking just for one thing. Can you please honor me in front of all these people. This is the king. The most, the person that we think is the most honorable person. He's asking the men of God to honor him. I'll talk about that when we talk about acceptance. Please honor me in front of these people. Which means you are never honorable just because of the money that you have. 
You are not honorable because of the forces that you control. The police and the army. Honor is something that has to be imparted and caused by somebody. And then Samuel just ignored him, but as he was walking away, Saul said, no, 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 you're not going anyway. He got a hold of his garment and then he tore it. <laughs> and then Samuel said, you're even worsening the situation. You don't do that. Are you trying to fight me? He said, no, 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 I'm not trying to fight you. Please say, please say, please say. And the Bible says, if you look at the last verses of chapter 15, from that time then Saul went to his place to Gibeah and Samuel also went to his house in Ramah <laughs> mm. from that day you read the last verse, they never saw each other again. That was the last time they had a conversation. Saul never went to Ramah again and Samuel never came from Ramah to Gibeah to see Saul. That was the end of their relationship. But then the moment you jump to the next chapter, you hear God saying to Samuel, why are you still crying? Why should you continue mourning for Saul, seeing that I have rejected him? Which means he has expired. Why are you mourning for Saul, seeing that I have rejected him. Wow. Rise up. Take the horn of oil. Go to a place and he was given the name Jesus' house. There is a king there that you are going to anoint amongst his sons. I will not give you the name now but I will give you the name later. The one that I name then you shall anoint king. And then let me jump every other thing that took place there and we read from the verse that we read and then Samuel anointed David. From the moment the oil touched his head the spirit of the Lord came upon him. From that day forward it never stopped. From that moment he was anointed the spirit of God came upon him 